everybody. Welcome to another edition of Innovative Hobby Supply Time. My name is Mike. I'm your host for today. And I've got another great scale model kit that I know you're going to enjoy. The BK6449 164 scale feed and farm store scale model kit is the perfect addition to any model diorama, slot car track, or train layout. It comes complete with six sheets for your building and the plethora of accessories and added details, two clear windows, one bag of landscape moss, and three model figures. You can find all of this model kit's dimensions in the comments below or at InnovativeHobbySupply.com. Alrighty, today we are going to be using the standard equipment for this type of model, a glue gun, scotch or invisible tape, a hobby or exacto knife, a metal ruler, a pair of wire cutters, a pair of scissors, washable markers for when you want to touch up all of your pieces, and of course, a cutting mat. Okay, so our first step is to unpack all of our materials and to set aside any of the accessories. There are six sheets to this model, so let's go ahead and start cutting out our materials. All right, what we need to do is grab our first sheet and our trusty pair of scissors, and we just want to cut along all of the edges with long, smooth strokes that allow you better control and less work later. What do you say we speed things up just a little bit? That's more like it. All right, now that all of our materials have been cut out, it's time to score what needs to be scored and to touch up all of our materials with our washable markers. Once that's completed, it will be time to assemble our feed store. Okay, so for this model, there are a few pieces that need to be scored. Pretty much anything that says glue tab or just tab, you need to score down each of those sides. And for the illusion rooms, you need to score down these white lines right here. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a few of those and then I will leave you to finish up and then it'll be time to touch up our pieces with our washable markers. Let's go ahead and do the same with these three other pieces and it will be time to touch up our markers with our markers. Okay, so now that all of our pieces have been scored, it's time to go ahead and touch up all of our materials with our markers. So the best way of doing that is to grab a piece in a corresponding color, in this case the gray, and you're just going to want to take the side of your marker and go ahead and run that along your edges and get rid of any of that unsightly white that takes away from the on-tent. Just like that. Go ahead and take any of your corresponding markers and colors and finish up all of your pieces and then it will be time to assemble our feed store. So our first step is to prep what is going to be the very very front of the building. The first thing you want to do is cut out the windows and then you're going to take these pieces of plexiglass that come with the kit and turn this over. You're going to want to take off the plastic piece and then either glue or tape these windows to uh, the back and then take each of the illusion rooms and glue that on each window as well. Thank you. 
and there we are. So you can set that aside, because first what we need to do is put on the rest of the building. So you're gonna wanna take the false front, which has the walls on it, turn that over, and then you're gonna wanna take this piece and glue that onto the back, as well as take the Farm and Feed Co-op, center it along the line, and go ahead and glue that onto the front. Now we're gonna take the first front, the right side, left side, and then the back. Go ahead and glue those around the gray base. You can use some tape if you want to hold your pieces in place while you glue them. Now the beginning of our building is now complete. It's time to go ahead and throw on the other front. So I'm gonna line that up perfectly with the sidewalk. And so there's a little gap and go ahead and glue that down. Once that front is secured, you want to grab these, put glue at one end, and put that down here the side. And then you're going to want to loop it over. Now with the other side, you're going to, want to do that as well. And then they are going to overlap. So where they overlap, go ahead and throw some glue down and merge them. Now it's time to put on our roof. There is a little prep work when it comes to our roof and making it that much more authentic and 3D. So you wanna take these little vents, put a dab of glue right in the center, let it dry just a little bit, and then go ahead and throw that on the roof tap it down very lightly. You're also gonna to wanna to take the solar panels and put a run of glue on each side of the back. Let it glue just a tad. 
and then also lightly tap it down onto your roof. Go ahead and finish with all the rest of the pieces and then it will be time to put it on our building and glue that down. And all we have left is a bit of landscaping and maybe some customers. There we have the completed feed and farm co-op. The Beat Cave 6449 feed and farm store scale model kit is both fun and easy for any hobbyist to put together regardless of their experience level. Its attention to detail and authenticity can't be matched by any other brand of models. You can find this model as well as any of the other amazing photo reel scale model kits at InnovativeHobbySupply.com And that concludes another edition of Innovative Hobby Supply Time. I hope you enjoyed yourself and I can't wait to see you back here next time.